Hello everyone, it's me, David Klopic, and today is my birthday. And today I wanted to dedicate one episode just for myself. Yeah, exactly. December 20th is the date of my birth. And what better way to spend it than to return to our famous shit plot generator. Or generate. Yes, there are multiple. So yeah. We're gonna give him a shot. So without further ado, get comfortable. Uh yeah. Get comfortable. Okay, here we go. So, uh, first of all, oh, one of our generators is going to be Drabblematic 2.0. Instant Drabble, Instant Genius. Oh boy, really? First of all, look at this. Instant Drabble, Instant Genius. How can you be a genius in this case? Only dumb people can, can like, generate their own Drabble using this kind of app. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see here. Choose your words. To build your own instant Drabble, just fill in the blanks and the Drabblematic will do the rest. All fields are mandatory. So this is basically something like this thing. However, you, you can't put random stuff in it. So I have to define it myself. So here we go. <clears throat> so characters, protagonist. Obviously, it's going to be me. And uh, you can choose the pronoun. You can either be a male, a female, or a multiple. So let me just scroll down. All right, him. Uh, love interest, um, okay, I know. And no, it's not Yoka. I will explain you at the end of the video why not. So here we go. Uh, the other one is, um, should I be telling you this? Hmm. You know what, I'll just say the name. And that's it. Nothing else. Revealing private info? No, no. It's a her, of course. Obviously, it's a her. Okay, adjectives. Example, iridescent. What the fuck does that even mean? Oh, what else? Let's just get in typing. Okay, here we go. Brave. Cute. Um, golden. I'm just putting random shit, because you have to. Uh, then we have... Uh, what else can we have? Badass. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh... <laughs> Perverted. I'm sorry. I really, I really, I really want to do that. Okay, uh, I'll be back. Let me just uh, grab my dictionary. Let's open a random word in a dictionary. Wrong. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Mysterious. Adorable. And uh, I want to put fucked up, but let's just keep it PG, okay? Uh, let's see whether we can find. Uh, ironical. Okay. Or wait, what am I supposed to do here? I honestly have no idea what am I supposed to do here. But let's just put random word. Okay, adverbs, I don't know. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make this video as short as I can. And I'm just gonna paste everything. Noun. Pine, okay, wait. Pineapple. And, uh, let's see. Cell phone. And a glass of water. Or just a glass, who knows. Okay, body parts. Why do I have to define body parts? Okay, let's define them. Uh, body part, let's see. Mm -hmm. Leg, arm, head. That was easy. And find the rest. Okay, transitive verb. Okay. Shot. Shoot. Shot. Animal. Uh, let's see. Pigeon. 
Do you remember my old video? Make sure to check it out. Uh, prepositional plays on a mountain. I'm gonna copy this because obviously I don't know. Let's fucking do this. Travel me! Uh, let's see the results. Okay. The Pigeon Princess. <laughs> The Pigeon Princess. Yes, because that's accurate. Okay, uh, let's do this. David Klopic was uh, walking through a badass meadow, laughing at the butterflies flitting around his head when he spied a golden little pigeon lying under a tree. David Klopic skipped over to see the dear thing and was brave to find that she was her. A glass had pierced her cute little head and she whimpered huskily in with the pain. My perverted li My <laughs> My perverted little friend. <laughs> okay, I know I shouldn't have typed that, but oh well. <laughs> okay, alright. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, let's go. Okay. Alright. My perverted little friend, David Kloppi said, let me help you. He took out his lantern multi-purpose tool and pulled out the glass as, as huskily as he could. Okay, I could have put fast, but oh well. The pigeon cried out and David Klopic's heart ached like a rainbow that casts a happy glow all, all over the all, all the land. Oh, sure. You'll be all right, David Klopic whispered. I'll take care of you. I'll call you Anna Maria and you can live with me forever. Oh. Scooping Anna Maria up in his arms, David Klopic carried her home and made a bed for her beside, for her beside his own. For seven days and seven nights, David Klopic nursed Anna Maria, cleaning her head and feeding her cell phone brand. What? Cell phone brand pigeon. What the fuck? On the eighth night, Anna Maria climbed into bed with David Klopic. She burrowed under the covers and huskily shut David Klopic's arm. It made David Klopic giggle. Oh, okay. okay. Focus. Focus! Okay. Uh, okay, it made Alec Lopez giggle and he cuddled close to Anna Maria, stroking her leg and singing huskily to her. Oh my god. Okay, now this is turning into some weird R shit. They continued their way for a long time. Every day, Alec Lopez hurried home so he could curl up with Anna Maria. It gave him a mysterious feeling whenever Anna Maria shot his arm. Okay, um, then one night, Anna Maria looked up at Alec Lopez and said, If you kiss me, I'll be I will become a wrong princess. I could scream huskily, he was so surprised. How could the pigeon talk? He must have dropped off and dreamed it. You're not dreaming, kiss me. Don't tell anyone I screamed like that. I could have and kissed Anna Maria on her leg. The air swirled and suddenly there stood a wrong princess with a crown and everything. I'm Princess Anna Maria. I was cursed. It's a long story. Is it really you? See, Anna Maria said and showed I could the scarf from the glass on her head. Then she kissed Al Klopic and they tumbled on a mountain and did a lot of very ironical things. Some of them involving an adorable pineapple. Or I should have typed exotic butters. Exotic butters. <laughs> I love you, Anna Maria said when they were done. Al Klopic clasped her close and they lived happily ever after on all the princess treasure Anna Maria had stashed away. And if Anna Maria did not know about Al Klopic's visit to the pigeon sexually, well, it wouldn't hurt her. What the... Fuck was that? That was the that was the wrong that was the wrongest story ever. Does that even exist? I don't think it even exists. Hold on, let me just I'll be I'll be finished. Okay, that was a great attempt, but unfortunately none of this made sense. My perverted little friend, a phrase that I will remember for the rest of my lives. So yeah, uh, that's it for this stuff for this thing. We should now get on to our next shit plot generator. We'll be back. Okay, here we go. Our next thing is the fanfic maker. So let's read a little bit. Okay, welcome to the fanfic maker, a prestigious site for pointless stories. Okay, never mind. Here we go. Uh, there might be some hidden toys if you click somewhere on this page. Okay. All right, let's do this. Oh, you can even select ratings. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, this video is definitely turning R. And if YouTube ever like restricts this video, 
Well, they can go fuck themselves, okay? They fucked up already. Okay, here we go. Ooh, we got some. Oh. 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 There's quite a lot of stuff here. We got Avatar, The Last Al Air... Whatever. Okay, let's see. Uh, King of the Hill, Legend of Korra. Okay, so I can select something. Super Mario Brothers, obviously. So you know what? Fandom? Okay. Modern Fantasy, Victorian Era. Okay, there we go. Okay, hero's name, Mario, Mario, Mario. Super okay, sure, never mind. Mail, you fix, stomping. Oh, we can already we can already do that. Holy shit! Okay, then you know what? We're gonna do a few more of these. Oh, we can even go with Toho Project. Yes, let's do that. Okay, what's ego rating? Exactly how one of them. Well, that's helpful. Let's do this. Haha. -ha. And uh, I don't even know what this. Cliche rating, okay, sure, it's just a, okay, uh, relationship, okay, you know, okay, and by the way, let me just, uh, okay, random person, so, uh, don't mind me, make story, okay, Toho Project, uh, Nightmare on Hakurei's Shrine, the sequel. By random person. Okay, A N. The following story is a sequel of Forbidden Passions of Unsho. You shouldn't be able to understand it without reading the other one, but for the full. Really? Wait, wait, just, wait. At least we got the plot generator ready. Or do we? Oh, there it is. Ho oh, ho! Hello, my friend! Long time no see. And yeah, I've been in school, so I tried to click on the movie script and then check if there are any new stuff in there. But unfortunately, all stayed the same. You know what? Fuck you. We're not gonna need this anyway. So here's our old, good old friend plotgenerator.org.uk. Good old times. Okay, so now, instead of creating an entire short story and a movie script, we could try and creating a blurb. Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, here we go. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's go with romance, cause that's, that's, that's basically something. Need a prompt? Go random. Fill entire form without pro- Okay, let's do that, just in case. Yay. You thought that I wasn't gonna do it? Sure. Okay, let me just, uh, do that real quick. Okay. Okay. This is it. Alright, you can go ahead and check what I have here. A new thing that was added is this, but it's nothing really special. It says, want to know when our app goes live? If so, please enter your email address, otherwise leave blank. You know what? If it ever comes out, I'm definitely gonna get it. Sarcasm. And my pen name is name of me self. Let's write a romantic plot. Here we go. Okay. Oh. Uh, there's something about Georgina. David Klopich is a hairy, thin, and brave homemaker from Ireland. His life is going nowhere until he meets Georgina Thomas, a punny, bald woman with a passion of stargazing. No thanks, no thanks, no fucking thanks. David takes an instant disliking to Georgina and the spiteful and ruthless ways she learned during her years in the city. 
However, when a tiger tries to exterminate that, holy shit, tigers in a fucking city. Georgina springs to the rescue. David begins to notice that Georgina is actually rather helpful at heart. But the pressures of Georgina's job as a housekeeper leave her blind to David's affections and David takes up baking to try herself and distract herself. Finally, when peculiar fishmonger Felici Felicity Raymond threatens to come between them, Georgina has to act fast. But will they ever find the passionate love that they deserve? The answer I will give you right away is fuck no. Because I, I wouldn't want to be with a bald woman. Thank you, as a hairy, thin, and brave homemaker. What the fuck is a homemaker anyways? Okay, I fell in love with the special Georgina Thomas. Last night I dreamed that she was in my teapot. <laughs> okay, alright. About as enjoyable as being slapped with a dead fish. But there's something about Georgina does deliver a strong social lesson. I love the bit where a tiger tries to exterminate David nearly fell off my seat. What the hell? I could do better. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know what? Zop Glop, is that's what your name is, you could actually do better. Better than this fucking thing. Yeah, this is the worst thing ever. I'm not even joking. I already showed you in this in the other video, but this is just It's just not that kind of stuff. Okay. Alright, so uh, let's try something else. Let's try summertime now. Okay. Nida, okay. I, I won't read this again. Oh. Oh my. A love interest. Let's make it a lesbian. <laughs> Uh, even though I'm not a supporter of lesbian, if you are, good for you. Okay. I entered it already. Okay, so the name, and here we go. Alright. Here's some lesbian shit for you. Annabelle Thomas is a brave homemaker from Snooty, from Snooty the Seaside. She leads a carefree life, however, all that changes when Annabelle books a summer holiday to chilly Ber Berlin. At first, Annabelle finds Berlin very idyllic. Idyllic. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Then there's the mysterious daring swordsman, Chloe Bogtrotter. Bogtrotter? What kind of surname is that? who makes her feel uncomfortable. When Chloe invites her on a thinking expedition, Annabelle begins to realize that Chloe is a deeply callous and giving woman. Annabelle knows in her heart that Chloe is the woman for her. Yay! Hooray for uh, homosexuality. Really? Okay, sh never mind. Okay, however, to secure her happiness, Annabelle must fend off the ruthless hairdresser, Suki Parks, who wants to get her claws into Chloe. Using her false charms and a mutual love of comedy, Annabelle sets out to snare Chloe once and for all. But will the daring homemaker return her affections? Oh, let's hope not. Let's fucking hope not. Okay. Okay. Sizzling hot. I wish a mysterious daring homemaker would fall into my life. The dullest summer story ever written. How would false charms and a mutual love of comedy attract anybody? I'm going to rush out and book a thinking expedition. And I once went to chilly Berlin on holiday, but I didn't find it idyllic. Idyllic, or I don't know. The Zobglob is a fucking pessimist. Just, I want to tell you that right away. So, uh, there you have it. Let's see what else can I do. Okay, so now we have found something we know as a random plot generator. This is actually another... Why, why does always have to be the United Kingdom who creates this shit? I mean, really, you have to get someone else to do it. Be original. Okay, anyway, let's go and see. So I generated something here. So you know what? Let's read this. Okay, so the main character is a woman in her late 30s who is very rebellious. 
A woman in her late 40s who is very judgmental is a second character. The story begins on a balcony. Someone is tormented by the memory of a dead family member. Okay, it's a story about loss of innocence. <laughs> And your character approaches the situation extremely carefully. Alright, so you know what I'm gonna do? Let's play a game. You can participate if you want. Just simply go to writingexercises.co.uk forward slash plotgenerator.php And from that you will be able to participate as well. So, you first generate, click one time each of these. And what you have to do is try to make the story that is nonsense make sense. Makes sense to you, huh? Okay, so let's go ahead and get this started in three, two, one, go. Okay, a woman in her late 30s who is very rebellious. Okay, so let's change that. A man in his 50s who can be quite shy. Okay, a man in his early 40s, 70s who is very mysterious. Okay, there we go. That's for that. Okay, setting the start begins on a balcony, starting on a lonely moor, in a bar. Sure, let's go with. Someone, a political demonstration turns into a chaos. An abandoned is given a home, someone is driven out of their home, someone receives a marriage proposal. Oh, in the bar, sure, it, it will make sense. Finally, it's a story about secrecy, prejudice, loss, corruption, journey, escape, infidelity, obsession, corrupt society, love. Perfect. Your character approach takes control of the situation. Yes. Here we go. Haha. <laughs> this is the story. So uh, you can go ahead and take a look at it if you want. And then in 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay. I think I just paused the video. Dang it. Okay, you know what? Never mind. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and refresh this real quick. Sorry, it was a little bit of a, you know. I pressed F5 and I paused the video. So, you know what? Never mind. Alright. Mission 1 complete. Let's do the next one. Okay. A man in his ear. Okay, so let's get started. 3, 2, 1, go. Alright. A man in his early 30s who can be quite spontaneous. Okay, 30s. Okay, a man in his late teens who can be quite arrogant. Both of these are arrogant. Per no, no, it's not perfect. A young man. We need to find a young woman who is very courageous. Yes, perfect. Okay, the story begins at a circus, oil rig, uh, on a cliff, in a police station. A handbag is snatched. It's a story. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Alright, here we go. A young man in his late teens who can be quite decisive. A young woman in her late teens who is very courageous. The story begins in a police station, a handbag is snatched, it's a story about risk taking and your character is not involved and is not afraid to get involved. So in 3, 2, 1, I'm gonna be deleting the... Are you fucking serious? Alright guys, so pretty much I'm gonna have to end the video here. I don't really want to make it too long, but I just wanted to say happy birthday to me. <laughs> um, if you have anything you would like to see in the next episode, preferably the next episode is probably going to be about another character's birthday from k -On. So uh, you'll remember from Ritsu Tainaka's birthday. So yeah, another great character of mine is actually coming on this channel. So anyways, that concludes for today's episode of the show of David Klopic, so have a nice day and see you all next time.